Retro Rob's Gaming Videos. Hey Rob here, and this is a real quick unboxing of the IK Mobile. This works with your iPhone, I'm sure it probably works with other devices. Uh, I'm running an iPhone 5 right now, I think it was built for the iPhone 4, so we'll see if it'll fit in there. I haven't really checked that yet. But here is the front of it. It basically, it works with everything that the iCade works with for the most part. Uses the same API. Look at it. That looks a little weird. That kind of worries me. That is a strange look for it. But anyway, I will show you what is in the box. And we'll sync it up or else. Okay. Important release notes. Safety instructions. Don't return this to the store if it doesn't work. Right. Whole bunch of stuff. There's a quick start guide. I think it's a little poster. It doesn't look like it's real hard to do. And here is the iCade. It's actually pretty heavy. It's not light. It, there's a little wiggle to it though. I think that's the, yeah, that's this thing. But it's got pretty decent weight to it. Unpack it. Hmm. On an off switch on the side here. Four top buttons. There's triggers. I don't know why you'd have triggers on something that's a pad. Because there's no, <laughs> there's no sticks here, so. No first person shooters, but I guess it does give you a few extra buttons. So there's eight total. Which I think there's six on the standard iCade. And it looks like I'm going to need a screwdriver. Yep. Hold on a second. Okay, and I'm back. Sorry about that. Screwdriver. Pop the bottom off. Come on. It does show you. There we go. Holy crud. The whole back comes off. There. I know what you're saying. You could have read the instructions. That's silly talk. Okay. A couple batteries come with it. Christ's sake, they're individually wrapped. Look at that. There we go. There we go. Put it back together. Seriously considering, often I don't put these screws back in. I think they're just obnoxious. And for the purposes of this video, I may not. There we go. All right. And there she is assembled. There is a power switch right here. And I suppose I'm going to have to look at how to sync it. Be right back again. All right, so I'm back. And here is how you pair it. I'm going to go back to the main menu. Go to Bluetooth. I, I'm not 100% sure you can see this, but uh, you go into your settings. I'll read it to you. Uh, you go to Bluetooth, and then you turn on the iCade. Wait a minute. I'm going to turn it off right now. And you turn on the iCade while holding all four of these top four buttons. Okay. It took me a while to figure this out. Unfortunately, you can see this already, but the eye on our cable show up down here under other devices. See, now it's connected. 
but it will also ask you to enter a code and if you bought one of these used you're gonna have a hard time getting the code because it doesn't tell you what the numbers on the buttons are so here is the sheet if you happen to buy one used and so say the code 6868 the code to sync would be 6868 oops sorry 6868 and then enter these are the enter keys and that's how you do that now I'm going to tell you I'm probably going to have to trim this down a little bit uh, my 5 just barely fits in here with the case off so there we go plus I get fingerprints all over it hold on a second Urgh. And I'm going to unlock it, and I didn't want to give you my code, so I'm going to go back now, and I will start a game real quick just to demonstrate it, and we'll just play Super Ox Wars here. And see, it, one of the problems is it's hard to access the volume control. Alright, so I'm going to start, and then if I press the button it will recognize that you have a button so it will stop auto firing. And there we go. And the controller itself feels pretty great if you have the, um, if you have the iPod Touch from the uh, from the time of the iPhone 4 it'll fit in here just fine the iPhone 5 does fit in here but it's really really tight I'm probably gonna trim a little bit from the top and the bottom as far as construction goes yeah it's pretty heavy it's pretty well built uh, I got mine for about 10 bucks and that's about all I'd pay for it <laughs> honestly it it works fine but again since it's not really made for the iPhone 5 I'm going to have a hard time with it. I'm going to have to trim it up a little bit. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. All right, here is how you can sync this up to your iPhone 5 or 4 or whatever you got. Okay, turn Bluetooth to on. Come on. There we go. Now you hold the top four buttons. And slide this thing on and hold it. Come on. Famous last words, wait. <laughs> I turned it off. Okay, there's our problem. There we go. Okay, you can see that the Ion Arcade has shown up. Select it. Bluetooth pairing request. Enter the code 82. In this case, 8286. And then there is a, <clears throat> a button thing here tell you which what each button is so eight two oops sorry eight six and it was unsuccessful oh, for goodness sake try again six six eight seven let's try this again this should be an easier one six six Eight seven. Followed by the enter key. Oops, that's there's the problem. Okay, the enter key's up on top. And there it is. There it is.